Hey guys, Team W here. And, uh, well, getting vocal out the way. This is my Blade Blades Part 4. Come on, you're expecting this. We found like. Like six new bays. And yes, that's it. That adds up to 16. So, let us get into our first bay. And yes, the profile, more of the profiles will be coming soon. So, our first new bay is Vocal. Yes, so let me just give you good luck, Adam. And so, what Vocal's ability is basically, in any form or fashion, this guy will hit you multiple times... In the area causing a vocal, more of like a vocal or attack, than the, you no, know, the eventually hitting attack. So yeah, that's why I named this guy Vocal. I mean, his spin patterns and attack patterns are really straightforward. What you see in him in his attacks, I mean, they're pretty much. Not that fast, but still pretty good in the matter where this guy is a stamina and an attack type. So yeah, let's get to the next bay. And we have our next bay, Strike. Which, this guy is kind of like knockback, but way better with the stamina part. Yes, this guy is a hard-hitting machine that's legit a tank. Well, I mean... He's literally just he's literally defined as a tank. Except with hard hits. And I basically just described his ability. <laughs> so he's basically like knocked back, but way better on the stamina part. And he's a defense tank. Pretty much. Spin my little spinning power. Yes, as you can see, that's a bigger reaction right there. This boy be a tank. Even though probably in the last battles you've seen him like having like, like, stamina problems. But yeah, that's all fixed now. So yeah. Why the strike battles kaboom. Soon. <laughs> Excuse me. Now I'm yawning. Now on to the two more important ones. <laughs> and now we have the more important. The two most important pace. Yes, this is probably going to be really short because of the two first explanations, but... Here's one. So this is Musical Death Deadly Xylophone. And the Musical Death original graphic form. So yes, this guy works as the same as Musical Death, except way louder. Well, like two times louder at least. So let's get a let's get a bay to showcase this off. I think we're gonna be like I'll let you jump around, Kelly. I'll probably work. Okay, so I really got a laser instead because he has some more metal faced has that more metal parts than let's jump bar, so you probably wouldn't hear it with him. But yeah, let's get to this little mini uh, oh mini explanation here. Put this back on. Wait, hold on. So all right, then let me just show you this example real quick. Of how louder Deadly's on the phone is. Don't mind the shadows, at least. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> yeah. Ah, there we go. That's one. That's way louder than you would hear musical death. Here, it's, it's way louder than Musical Death in his original form. Alright, let's do this again. Alright, go again. Because that was just the main attacks. Like, quoting that right there. Let's see if we can get like a higher note than that. Oh, okay, yep. That sounded like a bad note. 
which I'm pretty sure it was. Because, yeah, laser running out of stamina here. That definitely was a bad note. So that is is one of the musical deaths. Now let's get to the second one, which is like the newest edition. We got the second musical death over here. This is musical death, bloody rage. The well, eh. I guess I'll say kind of loudest. I think deadly xylophone is more louder than bloody rage. I mean, it does. Have the screeching sound for those scary movies. Has the, has the sound. Yeah, I don't know if it's the loudest, though. But yes, this is like it's all around design. It's pretty much, you know, all red. Pretty much. Except for, like, the metal base. So let's get this guy up, up and get to the opponent real quick. Alrighty, so we got... I saw the electric jumper right here. So let's go and test the sound out for this part of Beyblades. Beyblades. Alright, I'm not expecting a sound, but hopefully there will be. Because pretty much, I think this guy's going to be using his eighth notes, which sound like drums from a normal hit. Okay, um, yeah, it wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, you kind of heard it. Uh, it wasn't that loud. Okay, yeah, he's just gonna use mostly his drum moves. The eighth notes, which is sounding more like a drum than anything. I'll try the musical dice to have them. Bad note. That was a bad note right there. That would have been the tie. Uh, let's go get him like a random metal face one. Oh yeah, we still have the one that we didn't find out last time. Let's go use that one. Well, we actually just made it an infection except for the different performance tip because... Yeah, you see Bloody Rage took the performance tip that was originally for infection, so... Yeah, let's go see... How this goes. Alright, infection might act a little bit different because the performance tip is different. Yeah. Alright, it's more of the attack type performance tip. Which, uh, infection is like a defense attack, which having an attack type performance tip will really help. It's like the same thing for why uh, knockback was acting weird. Okay, yeah, that was. Yeah, that was too harsh. Was it in my base? Don't have the same performance step as I originally had. They will act like way different. All right, let's see. Okay, can yeah. I hurt that? It's like really low though. You heard that, I think. Yeah, you kind of heard that. Yeah, it's pretty low. Wait, I could probably just... Yeah, well, I guess that's musical death. Bloody Rage guy, so let's go on to the next bay. Alright, next bay. Which, this will probably end up being the last one, because the 16th one doesn't have an ability yet. So this one is called Reverse. Which I said I would explain in further detail about its ability. So, yes, Reverse found out... Ability by retraction and the custom may. 
this reverse is basically named after his spinning concepts. But pretty much. Let's see if we can get get a little bit of that reverse spinning action. Yeah, we got the reverse spinning action. And also, so when the other opponent hits this guy, what was supposed to happen to reverse happens to the opponent. So you can like figure out strategies using this bay, pretty much. And it was actually a very efficient way to win most battles because of how the effect works. And yeah, that's basically what I call it reverse, like, further detail would be like, so, let's say you had a burst bay, and it's like, you're trying to break reverse. Well, instead of, well, I can't actually say that it'll actually break, but if we were to go, and like, I don't know, that's where actually to do something to a burst bay. Instead of the burst bay breaking reverse, reverse breaks the burst bay. Which is totally not, totally not gonna happen. It's just like, for example, or something. It's like a little example, because that would never happen, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So let's get up against the opponent so you can see his ability real quick. So we have our boy, boy Retraction here, and I forgot to say, Reverse and his attack strategy. He's kind of like Vocal, but like ten, like 10 times faster, like. If you've seen the hits on Vocal, and if you see the hits on Reverse, you know who's faster with the hits. Because we got to like 19 hits that video. But yes, let's do Attraction, which these guys are going to be facing off in the tournament anyways, because why not? Because, uh, yes, I'm actually going to let you guys... Like, after the first round of tournaments, I'm going to let you guys pick which foes you want to see, and if it's possible... Then I'll do those foes in the actual arena. So yes, let's just uh, get this example ready. Okay, so we have retraction in the ring, and then we have probably reverse. Okay, nothing's really happening. All right, hold on a second. All right, so let's. Sorry about the guys. Let's test this again. Oh, okay. That's really. Well, I guess retraction could do like do the same thing. It was reverse. Because I mean, he's. All right. Okay. Yep. As you can see, those hits are really fast. See. If you go by the logic, I'm pretty sure reverse was. Was supposed to get knocked into the wall, but instead, Retraction got knocked into the wall. And oh my gosh, this video is getting so long, so I'm gonna have to end it here. You get to see that reverse spinning for like one last time. So, yeah, guys, this will have to end uh, my Blade Blade, Bay Blades part four. Which, if I find more, this is gonna be part five. And I will do the tournament and let you guys pick who you want to see go and get each other in an actual Bay Stadium. So, yeah, guys, this is Team Mitchell. We'll be signing out. Bye.